Hello friends and welcome back to Minecraft 1.18 the Caves and Cliffs update, but this time with a twist. Today we're going to be looking at Terralith 2.0, which is a mod or to be more specific a data pack for Minecraft that adds a whole bunch of new biomes to the game and these biomes are added with the new taller 1.18 generation and as a Minecraft explorer I just needed to see this. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness, what? What is this biome? Hold on, hold on, F3, Yellowstone. Okay, but you guys might not know this, but I actually live just like a couple hours away from Yellowstone National Park, and I go there several times a year, so this, this is really cool. So for people in other parts of the world that may not know, Yellowstone is like a, a, a caldera for a volcano, kind of, but it's not like a really active volcano, it doesn't have lava or anything. Instead, it has these uh, these pools, these like geysers and hot springs and stuff. And it it actually, this looks pretty close to it. I'm not gonna lie, like the colors and stuff. You get like the orange around the pools and the different colors, and you get like the 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 ashy colored ground. Oh, I gotta adjust like my my mouse sensitivity. This is kind of a lot. There we go. That should be better. But yeah, this. This does look a lot like Yellowstone and it's all pine trees and stuff. So pretty dang accurate. Really, really impressive recreation for, um, for Minecraft. Wow. I guess if I had to name a real life part of Yellowstone that this looks like, it's a uh, Norris Geyser Basin. Norris Geyser Basin. Really white and ashy with all the pools and stuff on the hillside like this. Whoa, I know, I know I'm gushing. I just can't get over it though. And then over here we have a regular wintry snowy biome. I mean, that kind of checks out. Yellowstone is pretty far north in the US and it, it does get like a proper winter and it gets all snowy and stuff. Whoa, have you noticed the sky though? Look at that sky. It actually looks like wintry. That's pretty cool. Is, is this actually just like a regular? Yeah, snowy plains. Okay, this is a regular biome. It just looks a little different because of the sky. That is super cool. And technically this little bit right here with the lighter colored grass and the and the, the dirt blocks and like just the edge here, this also counts as the Yellowstone biome. And again, pretty dang accurate. It's got these trees here and these look like uh, aspen trees inside the park. Pine and aspen, that's what Yellowstone is. Good job, Terralith team. I guess we will just keep flying then and see if we can find other cool biomes. We have something over here. This right here is technically a gravel desert. Okay, that's kind of a neat effect. Uh, oh. Ho oh, ho ho. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. That's cool. But what are all these dead trees? What, what's this? Ooh, the sky changed color again. It's like kind of greenish now. Okay, we are in an ice marsh. All right, I can dig it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. There certainly has been no problems finding any of the new biomes so far. According to the website, this mod, well, I mean, I say it's a mod, but it doesn't actually add new blocks. So it's kind of a mod, but it also kind of works with vanilla clients and it's just really super cool to be honest. But yeah, according to the website, it adds 85 new unique biomes to the game, which is a lot. And can we just take a moment here in the snowy biome to appreciate all of the levels of snow there are to make this look like a lot smoother and more natural transition between the different elevations and stuff? Oh, the whole river is frozen or ocean or whatever this is. Is this a river or is this an ocean? Frozen river. It's a river and it is completely entirely frozen and much, much bigger. Actually, now that I think about this, this might be a vanilla thing with 1.18. I believe the rivers were supposed to be larger, but still like actually seeing them at all. Oh. oh, the ice spikes on the hill like that. Ooh, it's so good. All right, this is really cool and all, but I do want to check out some of the warmer biomes too. So I think I'm just going to uh, randomly teleport myself here to another part of the world and we'll see what's there. It does take, I believe, a beefier computer to make this mod work because it does make the world much more complex and 1.18 is already a lot more complex, but I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it, it's still pretty smooth while it's loading in all these chunks, so I'll take it. So this is kind of interesting. This little strip here is technically a taiga, just like the regular Minecraft taiga, but the trees are obviously taller than regular taiga trees. They do look really good though, I have to say. All right, here we got another new biome. This one is called Shield. It has like a lot of colorful birch trees in it, which is really cool. Again, more dirt. It's a colder biome, I'm, biome, I'm guessing, because it's got the gray sky. I like this little hill up here. I don't know if this is technically part of the same biome or if this is like another one that kind of intersects. Let me see. No, this is a different one. This is like the, the meadow biome, just like a little tiny meadow biome in the middle of the shield. Cool. Another example of a regular Minecraft biome looking a little different. This is the swamp. And again, these trees, 
are, I mean, there's some that look like the regular trees, but there are some that look quite a bit different. There are some taller ones, and then there are some like stumpy, weird, kind of thick tree boys over here that look kind of mangled and just cool. Also, drip leaves. Very nice. Ooh, another cold biome here, but it's all made of ice. This is neat. What's this called? Glacial chasm. How tall does this tallest peak get? I'm curious. Yeah, it's pretty high up there. Gets up to just over 200. Quite the view from up here. So this is interesting. This little tiny island here with the itty bitty trees is called an orchid swamp. And I'm guessing there's probably supposed to be flowers or something more, but there's just not a big enough landmass. But this looks also swampy, but the grass is a very different color. So I am curious to see what the heck this is. Or maybe this is also orchid swamp. Maybe this is the color it's supposed to be. Yeah, orchid swamp. Okay. And it has orchids all over the place. That's pretty neat. Again, entirely vanilla blocks and items just used in a completely different way. What's this over here though? We've got some mountains over here, some hills. Okay, there's more of this orchid swamp around it, but these peaks with the, these like jaggedy peaky bits with the water coming out, the waterfalls. Oh, that looks cool. What is this called? This is obviously not a vanilla biome. Wind swept spires. Is this a vanilla? No, but it's Terralith. It says Terralith there. Ooh, this is cool. It's weird how with this one, the water table rules aren't exactly observed. Like these, uh, these peaks go down lower than the surrounding water table. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it's intended to be like that. It's an interesting effect either way. Coming up on a warmer biome now, there was just Savannah behind me, but now we are in a place and it looks like this is all granite and coarse dirt and terracotta and some little bushy things with very different colored leaves. And this is hot shrubland. Yeah, it does look pretty hot. I know some people don't really go in for like these kind of more barren plainsy biomes without the big trees. They don't look as interesting visually, but I like the contrast of having biomes like this next to the more like lusher, visually appealing biomes, I guess. Oh, and look at this 1.18 cave. It goes way the heck down there. Oh, I love 1.18 so much! And over here, a slightly different variation of it with red sand. This was called Arid Highlands. Again, pretty cool. Here is something kind of interesting. This regular desert biome has the typical kind of blue sky. It might be slightly... Lighter blue than normal, but if I go into the red desert area, the sky turns kind of yellowy orangey, almost like a uh, sandstorm or dust, you know, in the atmosphere. And that is pretty cool. Yo, what is this? This looks awesome. We got like these marshy, oh, are these all azalea trees? They are! What is this biome called? Desert Oasis. I love it. I mean, I love exploration in Minecraft in general, but like this mod is seriously blowing me away. Oh, it's like little stepped pools. Is this also still Oasis here? Yeah, kind of like what you find underground in the lush caves, but it's on the surface in a desert. Super cool. And then over here, it looked like there was jungle, but then there was also some like black brown, like volcanic looking ground. What's up with this? Tropical jungle. So yeah, like a, a volcanic beach kind of a deal, I guess. It's like a little patch of temperate highlands in the middle of this tropical jungle. But you know, it kind of works. Oh my goodness. Mmm, yes. That is just super cool looking. Yep, really cool. Oh! That, is it like normal Badlands or is it different Badlands? But what I was looking at is there is another like oasis here, but this time... Red oasis, yes, it's oasis, but in the red sand area instead of in the, oh, look at this cave entrance. Yes, I know I'm easily distracted. You're just gonna have to bear with me. I can't help it. I must go look at pretty things. Ah, there's a glow squid down there. This has to be one of the coolest cave mouth entrances I have ever seen. But this, like the Badlands up here. Oh, and there's like a plateau with trees on it. See, it's Minecraft eroded Badlands. This is a normal vanilla biome. I can't wait to encounter one of these in regular vanilla. But then like, is this just like, yeah, it's just a plateau. So this right here is entirely vanilla, but it's a plateau that's been altered and it has like, wait, actually, is that normal in plateaus? Like Savannah Plateaus normally have a bunch of, I keep forgetting what this stuff is called, terracotta, right? Please tell me it's terracotta. Yes, I have not completely lost my mind yet. Oh, so much pretty stuff to look at. So little time. Ooh, and what's this coming up here? Well, this part here is just called Birch Forest. So I guess this is another case of a regular Minecraft biome having different tree variations to make it more visually interesting. And then over here we have Forested Highlands. 
Super cool. It's kind of neat how there's not much tall grass down there, but there are some scattered flowers to make it look different. And there are horses down here. Apparently horses can spawn in this biome. Hi friends. These uh, red trees really bring out your brown. You look great. Yo, there's a red vine here. Just one that I can see. So are all, is all of the greenery like changed where these, these different trees are with the different colored leaves? It must be, right? So you plant, I I'm guessing how they, that's how they do this without adding different leaf, leaf blocks to the game. Although I don't know, like there's some overlap there where it seems like if it was a biome thing, like a biome blending issue where it wouldn't look that smooth of a transition. So how, how are these possible? Yeah, dark oak leaves. But they are, oh, so it's different types of leaves in different biomes. So like in this biome, let's say this, this particular biome, the spruce leaves are always going to be this color and the dark oak leaves are always going to be red. That's how they do it without adding different leaf blocks into the game. So like if I grab these birch leaves and I bring them over into this biome, because you can see that this there's clearly a difference here. Okay, birch leaves are still this color. What if I got, say, like, jungle leaves or something? Is it gonna only be the dark oak leaves that show up in a different color? That would make sense. No! Jungle leaves are also red. Interesting. And there's another transition here between two different biomes. And this one is called Temperate Highlands. And there's a bunch of what looks like clay here. So now in this one, this leaf block comes up as orange oak leaves. So if we go down here... More horses, nice. Here, I guess I can get rid of that. All oak leaves are going to be orange. Jungle leaves are also orange. Interesting. Birch leaves are green. Spruce leaves are green. And dark oak leaves are also orange. Interesting. Oh, is this a, a dark oak? A regular dark oak forest? I noticed there is patches of the glowing lichen in here. That's kind of cool. I bet that looks really neat at night, but I just got to check and see. Ooh, the sky changed color. I hit the wrong button. Everything is fine. Yep, dark forest, regular Minecraft biome. But again, trees are taller and the sky is a bit different and there is extra stuff added. I have to say in general, it seems like Terralith likes to favor adding taller trees in. And I like the effect of it, to be honest. Hold on, I'm gonna make it night quick and I just want to see how glowy it is with these patches of lichen. Yeah, the glow is very subtle because the lichen don't glow very much, but it definitely kind of adds a different sort of at what's that? Oh, something is on fire. Whoops, I'm guessing there's a lava pocket over there. But no, we're looking at the glow lichen in here and it doesn't provide much illumination, but it kind of adds these little patches where you can kind of almost see what's going on. It's a vibe for sure. That is a pretty cool view from this side. And I bet if I turned up my render distance a bunch more, it would look even better. I have been, for the record, running with everything on 12 chunks like the default. If I turned it up to 20. I don't want to turn it up too high because I don't want to kind of give you guys a false look of what it looks like with my computer. Because I do have, I'm not running my laptop anymore. Of course, I am running a, uh, a better computer. And my stats there, my uh, computer stats are up there in the corner so you guys know what I am running this on. Yeah, that looks really cool. I just love the vistas that you get with 1.18 and this mod makes it even better. Oh, what? That does not look like natural grass color. What color? That's like purpley blue grass. What the heck? Look at all the flowers. This is different for sure. What the heck is this called? Moonlight Valley. Well, isn't this pretty? Ooh, I just love all the flowers. Like all these cool colored flowers in with like the grayish grass. Wandering Trader, now is not the time. There's even a uh, little bits from the nether here. Like some of the, the warped fungus stuff from the nether. And the trees here are, so this is like acacia, right? Yeah, acacia wood, so you don't see the pink at all. And then there's strip trees to make it look like there are different trees when there aren't actually different tree blocks. Oh, there's even bits of like warped stuff down there, like the warped fungus. Huh. Unless there's a portal. Is there a portal down here? No, that's just the way it looks on the edges. Oh, this is really cool. I just cannot get over how this looks. I am such an explorer in Minecraft, and if you are too, you should definitely check out this mod, Terralith. I'm not like sponsored or anything like that. I just saw it on Twitter, and I thought it looked cool, and I thought I would try it out and show you guys in a video. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, a thumbs up helps me and the channel out a lot. And if you aren't subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future awesomeness. But I will see you soon for the next video. Bye for now.